Shalom. At the shower, praise the dew unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Makak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is in regards to the Ottoman um, Turks. You know, um, you know, the Ottoman Turks, after the fall of the Byzantine Empire, um, you know, a lot of our people, we went into captivity under the Turks. And uh, what they did, you know, they will castrate, you know, our members. A lot of our, our, our the men, they will castrate them. And they would make them keepers of the uh, of the harem, right? And um, this is our Wikipedia. Uh, um, a eunuch is a male who is who has been castrated throughout his history. Castration, castration often serve as a special social function, you know. And this is what they did. You know they would, um, you know, like they would have our uh, the the men as uh, servants, you know, and um, you know this is totally against our law, right? Because a lot of our people they were Jews, you know, but a lot of our people were practice, a lot of our people were Christians, you know, and um, as well, um, basically during um, the sixth century. Um, AD, you know, basically, uh, you know, that's when the whole Islam came on the scene, right? And um, a lot of our people, they uh, submitted, you know, to that whole Islamic religion. And it was ultimately set up by uh, the Roman Catholic Church. Because Jake was in power, you know, and basically uh, we were in power for over, uh, you know, a long period of time almost a thousand years you know so basically uh, you know we fell you know but I'm gonna keep going now it says uh, Deuteronomy 23 and 1 the person exclusive from the assembly he that is wounded in the stones or half his, his his privy member cut off shall not enter in the congregation of the Lord right so um, you know like they knew you know who the Jews are you know who we are you know so they would do all that stuff you know they would you know like they would like they would humiliate our people man you know let me uh you know this is a uh, eunuch you know this is like some some of them male a whole bunch of confusion this is a uh, uh, more you know they were uh you know he was uh, castrated. That's what happened. You know, to these, uh, you know, to these eunuchs. You know, this is a man. You know, and that's what you know. That's why it says, uh, you know, that's totally off. It says, uh, he that is wounded in the stones or have his privy member cut off shall not enter the congregation of the Lord. And that's why the, these uh, Edomites, you know, these Turks. Which was being uh, you so-called Khazars or Amalekites, you know, um, you know, you guys, uh, you guys did a lot of damage, you know, onto our people, man. All right, because you should have really just put the men to death and take the women and children, you know. But um, you were, you know, you weren't following the rules of, uh, I believe it's Deuteronomy uh, twenty-one. So lucky I'm gonna uh, continue to go. So lucky. I think it's Deuteronomy uh, 20. You know, because there's uh, laws of concerning, you know, like the Bible, you know, in the scriptures. You know, the law, is, yeah, this is the law of warfare. You know, so, um, you know, during the fall of the, um, the Byzantine Empire, you know, Jake was in rule, you know, um, I'm going to show you that after, Deuteronomy 11 and uh, 1, and it shall come to pass, if, if it make, if it make the uh, answer of peace, stuck at one, stuck it, let me highlight this, one second, 
Deuteronomy uh, 20 and 10 when thou comest nigh unto a city to fight against it then then proclaim peace up unto, uh, unto it and it shall be if it make the answer of peace and open unto thee then it shall be that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee and they shall serve thee you know and if it shall and it shall and it will come and it will make no peace it's like and if it will make no peace with thee and it will make war against thee thou shalt besiege it and when the lord thy power hath delivered it into thine hands thou shalt smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword so you know the sword is supposed to put them to death you know and that's what we were doing you know you know during um you know in the time of joshua you know um you know you know we were you know able to um you know conquer you know and to uh rule you know over the so-called uh, canaanites you know and um uh, you know and that's what we would do you know we would uh, follow um uh, the laws of a uh, war right concerning the rules of war but the woman and the little ones and the cattle and all that is in the city even all the spoil thereof thou shalt not take unto thyself and thou shalt eat it, eat the spoils of thine enemies which the lord thy power hath given thee you know and you know and that, that's what we would do you know so um when these edomites came you know they were doing all kind of things man all kind of um atrocities unto us man you know and uh you know that's why you uh you either might you have a lot of things to pay for man yeah this is deuteronomy uh 22 and i believe uh five it said deuteronomy 22 and five the woman shall not wear that that which pertaineth unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so our abomination to the lord that's what these turks they were doing unto our people and as well you know like they were doing it you know during uh with the whole transatlantic slave trade if you um uh, watch that movie goodbye uncle tom you know and they would uh you know they would you know on um, i'm like they would castrate the males you know they would do all kinds of stuff you know and um you know and basically with this whole uh plan this nwo you know like did they you know like they wanted you know do all kind of stuff to our people man you know and uh population control you know because they know that if you don't have no seed you know you won't be able to populate right so uh you know so uh you know that's why uh these uh these uh i do mean man you know might they have a lot of crimes to pay for you know and um uh, you know like that's why uh there's so much destruction you know on the earth you know look what happened in turkey you know a lot of these like like a uh, like a lot of these are the turks man you know the so-called uh these ottoman turks you know the, the khazars who uh who was practicing uh you know islam you know and um you so-called uh like the judaism you know these people that are practicing the judaism right because you know we were uh the, the jew the original jews the jews you know we convert you know like we made them convert you know to our ways you know and we had them as uh you know as servants as slaves or slabs right you know so that's why there's so much destruction happening around the world because this is a time of uh, judgment. You know, I'm going to uh, play this. This is for uh, pe educational purposes. You know, there's a lot of jakes still within those regions, Turkey, Syria and stuff. But uh, even Syria, you know, 10 years ago, you know, there was a, you know, there's a great war, you know, you know, through, you know, like with the military. And, uh, you know, the Syrians are still displaced, you know, so that whole earthquake, um, 
over there in Turkey and within that Turkey and Syria region, man, they displace over uh, two million people, man. All right, because a lot of you know everybody has to come back and pay, you know, like for what they did, you know, especially what they did to, uh, you know, like the Israelites, man. I want to play this. see all this man you know like this is the lord doing all this man you know who's orchestrating this because we're seeing all kinds of uh things that's happening you know so um a lot of uh things a lot of earthquakes in diverse places i think there's an earthquake in um uh, believe uh it was in central america um ecuador all right you know there was a big earthquake there you know um turkey you know there's uh, there's a lot of uh a lot of things that's happening and also we sh we're approaching uh you know we're we're like we're looking for signs you know of uh, the lord's coming all right and uh durant mark um it's like a matthew 24 and 3 and as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came unto him proceed it says it says um it's a privilege saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the signs of thy coming and the end of the world and yahweh wish i answered and said unto thee take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying i am the anointed and shall deceive many you know, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's false prophets, you know, trying to, you know, trying to proclaim themselves, you know, as the Messiah, you know, which they're not, you know, and uh, like that's why all these people who want to proclaim themselves as the Messiah, you know, they're dying, they're getting judged. All right. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, seeing that ye be not troubled, for all these things must be the must come to pass but the end is not yet for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places so we see what's happening right now with famines you know where's out you know food rations you know that, that's going to be you know it's already happening in the uk you know it's going to come here you know this pestilence with this whole uh co this whole uh C O V I D, you know, this what they uh you know, like what came, you know, with this whole Wuhan virus, <laughs> you know. You know, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are beginning of sorrows. And this is what's happening, man. So um you know you know, but these uh you know, these Edomites man, to the black units of the em Ottoman Empire. A network of power power in the court of the of the sultans you know and, and like that's what these people they were doing man you know because uh you know when we were in power you know that like we didn't you know like you know i'm not castrate no man and so this is uh the morris eunuch castration of african slaves during the trans sahara slave trade millions of african men were captured from from therefore, Absinia, um, the Corinan, or the Corridofan, Zanzibar, and other African nations. Then, then ultimately, it's a castrated in the Arab court uh, region. Both the African and Af and uh, the Arabian and African, right? and that's what happened, man. They would castrate our, the men. Ultimately, you know, we see what they were supposed to do. They're supposed to put these men to death because you know they were supposed to be following like the rules of war. You know, so uh, you know, you Edomites, you have a lot of shit to pay for, man. You know, see, this is like a little girl with this thing, you know, and that leg, you know, like they had our people, um, 
you know as uh, as Unix man you know so it's like you know like they, like they'll be little you know um the men and we see you know you know that we didn't do that man when you read about uh you know King Solomon you know when he was in power he had like uh I'm gonna get that so the uh, the song Psalms I'll leave this in uh, one second. So on the Lord, Songs of Solomon, uh, three, three. I could get it. Songs of Solomon, uh, three. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. I'm checking this thing. Songs of Solomon. I believe three and uh who is this that cometh out of the wilderness like a pillar of smoke and performeth slug and perfumeth with myrrh and frankincense with all the powers with all the powders of of the merchant, right? Because you know King Solomon, you know, he was very uh you know he he had a lot of you know frankincense you know which you know which came out of that uh you know sheba you know through that region you know and um you know that you know like that was um you know righteous you know smell you know righteous scent you know that uh you know the lord you know he was uh sir solomon he was uh he would have in his house in his in his his courts you know, in his homes, behold his uh, his bed, which is uh, which is Solomon's three score valiant men are about it, a valiant, it says of the valiant of Israel. So you know Solomon, you know he had over, uh, I believe, three hundred concubines and seven hundred uh, wives. You know, and um, you know he was. Uh, you know he was uh, the ultimate, uh, you know, merchant and the king. You know, and uh, he was uh, doing a lot of trade. You know, and uh, you know, so he had over sixty valiant men. You know, in his, you know, about his bed chambers, man. You know, and ultimately, like you know, like this is how uh, it says they all held swords, being ex, be expert. It's like a being uh, expert in war. Everyone have. Everyone have his sword upon his thigh because of the fear in the night, you know, and, you know, so Solomon, you know, he was, you know, protected, you know, but ultimately, you know, when, when Solomon went off, you know, uh, because he started worshiping, uh, he started building temples to uh, his, his wives and stuff, you know, like that's so, how uh, we ultimately fell, or, you know. And uh, the kingdom was divided, was parted, his kingdom. I'm not going to go into it, but uh, that's what happened. But, you know, this is what these people, you know, did unto our people, man. You know? So you you devils, man, you guys have a lot of crimes, you know, and, uh, you know, so everything's getting, everything's, you know, coming to the light. Um, There's another... Uh, believe one second <laughs> see I just deleted it slack yeah slack yeah Byzantine Empire Because you see, when you look at these Byzantine uh, icons, it's lucky. You know, like they're gonna like whitewash these images, right? With their whole Renaissance art, you know, because the original, uh, you know, the original paintings, you know, of uh, the Negro, 
or the black or uh, the Jews, you know, they were dark. See? You know, that's why uh, there's a book. It's called, um, I have it here, Slakia. Yeah? It's called The Icons and the Saints of the Eastern Orthodox Church. All right. And uh, if you have this book, it shows you, uh, you know, like the icons, you know, the, uh, you know, how dark they were, you know, you know, Salakia, I just was looking for, um, Salakia. I could find it, I find it. <laughs> if I can't find it, I just had the damn thing. It was off of, um, you know, you know, but this is the, the real images of the saints, all right? And uh, basically, uh, when that, you know, like when we fell, you know, the Byzantine Empire fell, you know, you had the Turks, you know, and they were practicing that whole Islam. So, uh, you know, they made our people submit and they would, uh, you know, and they would crush us, man. That's why uh, Job 9.24. because not all of Europe was uh, was being controlled by the Turks you know you had uh, our people that was throughout the Western Europe who were still uh, kings right? it says John or Job 9:24 the earth is given to the hand of the wicked he covereth the face of the judges thereof if not where and who is he and that's what they're doing with their whole Renaissance art you know um, you know their iconoclasm. I believe it's in Maccabees. It says, uh, "To lay hold, uh, let to lay hold like the let, let, it says to lay hold of like the book of the Lord." I just had this thing, uh, like I had this thing queued up, you know, but Satan, you know, but um, you know, but that's what they did, man, you know, by destroying our images, and then I would paint over our images you know our relics our records you know so you uh you devils man you, they have a lot of uh crimes and a, uh, a lot of atrocities you know to pay for man yeah so uh with that let us all praise do unto you how about shimmy our shy but shimmy cock with us the honors of the apostles of great millstone peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect shall